There are two kinds of people in this world. Pineapple on their people pizza. On their people? <laughs> I'm like, wait, wait, on their people. That's a whole different type of person. So <laughs> there are only two kinds of people in this world. Pineapple on their pizza people and those of us who are right. But one thing we can all agree on is that pineapple does belong in this honey pineapple chicken stir fry. And while I definitely love takeout sweet and sour chicken, I'm showing you how to make a healthier, not battered and fried version right at home, and it only takes 30 minutes. Before you do anything though, I need you to go ahead and like and subscribe to Flavor Makers on YouTube so you don't miss a thing. You can use canned or fresh pineapple for this recipe. If you use canned, you can use the juice where the recipe calls for it. And if you use fresh, you'll need to squeeze some of your fresh pineapple or use a separate can of juice. If you're using fresh pineapple, I've got some cutting tips for this hearty fruit. Ooh. All right, so first you wanna cut off the top. Then we're gonna cut off the bottom as well to create a flat surface so it doesn't slip and slide around. Next, you wanna cut off the outside, so the skin. And you kind of have a guide here because you can see where the eyelets are. And we're just gonna go down and follow the natural curvature of the fruit. Make sure your fingers are out of the way. And it's okay if you don't get these all off the first time around. You can always go back and kind of clean up behind yourself. And we're gonna go straight through the core lengthwise. So we're going down this way. And again, we wanna create flat surfaces so we don't get a lot of slipping and sliding. I'm gonna put one to the side and I'm gonna cut this in half lengthwise again. And then on a diagonal, I'm gonna cut out the core. And now you wanna just go down and cut strips, which will then get turned into chunks. And you wanna repeat that for the rest of your pieces and get some in a bowl. All right, so stir fries cook super quickly. So it helps to have all of your ingredients already ready to go. Let's start with our honey pineapple sauce. Mm. So in this measuring cup, I already have some pineapple juice and we're gonna add in some water. We have some honey here. This is gonna bring our sweetness, our soy sauce, which will bring some of that saltiness. We have cornstarch, which will help to thicken it up once it's heated through. And then we have some spices. I have some McCormick garlic powder, some ginger for a little zing, and some paprika. We're gonna go ahead and give this a whisk until it's all combined. You just wanna make sure that everything's in and there's no lumps and bumps so we don't have that in our sauce. And that honey is picked up from the bottom and we are good to move on to our chicken. So I'm gonna turn my pan on medium high heat and let that heat up a little while I put the cornstarch on my chicken. So go ahead and get that on. Sometimes you have to give it a little encouragement. We're gonna to toss it using our tongs. And we just wanna make sure that we're getting cornstarch on all of it so that it's all crispy once we cook it. So while I finish getting that coated, I can go ahead and add in my vegetable oil now and let that warm through. So now it's all coated and we can add it to this pan. And we're just gonna stir fry it for about five minutes until it's browned and cooked through. All right, so it's been about five minutes and our chicken is nicely browned. I have a new pair of tongs because I use those with raw chicken and we don't want cross contamination. Mm -mm. So I'm just gonna remove this from the pan and set it on a plate to set it aside. I mean, look at that browning, look at that texture. So I'm gonna add my veggies into the same pan. If you find that you need a little bit of oil, you can add about a tablespoon more. And I know that a lot of times people think that stir fries require a wok, but I don't have one and a large skillet works just fine. So we're adding in our broccoli, our onion and our bell pepper. I'm just gonna give that a stir and you're just gonna cook these until they're tender crisp. So about five minutes. All right, so our veggies have been cooking for about five minutes. They're just the right amount of softness that we want and they already smell amazing. So the next thing we have to do is add our soy sauce mixture that we made earlier to the skillet. I always like to give it another whisk just to make sure those lumps are out and we get a nice smooth sauce. So add that directly to the pan. All right, so now that our sauce mixture is in here, we wanna stir it around constantly and we're gonna cook it on a high simmer until the sauce is slightly thickened. One of the things I remember from growing up is no matter where we lived in the world as a military family, we'd always have one night of the week that was for stir fries. My mom got really good at it and she would make some of the best combinations ever. So when we moved back to the States and we could order them out, it was like, brand new to us because we didn't even know that you could get stir fries not in the house. So now it's coming full circle and I'm bringing that back. So as you can see, it doesn't take very long for this to heat up and start to simmer and then thicken. So now we can add our chicken and our pineapple back to the pan. So first I'm gonna add in this chicken. You can even hear 
it's crispy when I touch it to the tongue. So this is gonna be great. And I'm gonna add in our pineapple. So we're just gonna stir that around and get everything coated and then let it heat through. So for about two more minutes, we'll stir fry this. I love how thick this sauce is getting and it's so pretty to look at. People eat with their eyes first and we have red and yellow and green. So this is definitely one that you can serve up to impress people, but it's also quick. So you could have it for a dinner party or a date night or just for yourself and not spend all day cooking and actually enjoy your company. All right, so now that this is done, I've turned off the heat and I'm gonna serve it up on some rice. I'm using white rice here, but you could use brown rice or cauliflower rice if you wanna keep it lower carb. Look at that sauce. It's so dreamy and silky because we whisked it up. It looks so good. I'm just gonna give it a little drizzle on top. Look at that. I mean, tell me you don't wanna eat that. I'm ready to dive in, so let me get some of this. This looks so good. And the texture on this chicken is perfect. It's super juicy and we're picking up the sweetness from the pineapple and the savoriness from some of those vegetables. I think that this is better than takeout and I'm actually gonna take this out of here and eat it. But you make sure that you like and subscribe to McCormick on YouTube so you can check out all the Flavor Maker videos.